Hey, 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 I see somebody is in, but I, I can't see a name. Oh, Antoinette, hey, just popped up. How you doing? I was, um, I was talking or thinking, talking and thinking to myself last night, um, about some things that I would love to happen, things I've been praying about. Okay, I'm back. Uh, hey, Trevor, am I going to see you at church here in about 15 minutes? But, um, yeah, I was thinking about some things I'm wanting to happen, I've been praying for and hoping and praying it's going to happen. Oh, I need to call him. But, um, so, I was just, you know, in my head, talking and thinking and being happy. And uh, the Lord started talking to me. And he was talking about how those of us who do TikTok, I do TikTok, we jump on all these trends. They got a new dance here. They got a new dance there. They have um, pranks on your parents, pranks on your friends. They have all these different trends that are happening, and everybody's jumping on that bandwagon. I'm talking about those who own TikTok. And it's not, I was, and to be honest, it's not just TikTok. There are trends that people are jumping on in real life. Um, and God started speaking to me, and he was like, we can do all these other trends. We can jump on all these. Hey, baby, how are you? We can do all these other trends. But how about we start doing the trend of missionary work, of ministry? Why don't we jump on those bandwagons? Why are we not out here helping the sick and helping the homeless more? There, I'm not saying that nobody does it. Somebody does it. But there should be more of us doing it. And I was like, Lord, you, you're right. You are right. It's not just about going to church. I miss you too, baby. It's not just about going to church. We got to start getting out here in the street. We got to start. As soon as these bans are lifted for the nursing homes where they can have visitors, we got to get back in the nursing homes. Some of these people in the nursing homes don't have family that's coming to visit them. And a lot of them, they just need to know that they are loved. A lot of them would probably do slightly better in these nursing homes if they had somebody visiting them, letting them know, yeah, we thinking about y'all. I know when we were younger, we used to go to the nursing home maybe once or a month or maybe once every three months or three or four, excuse me, three or four times a year, we would go to the nursing home and we would sing and we would bring gifts and we would play games with the residents and it would make them so happy. God said, why are we not jumping on those trends? Um, and I know I'm one of them. I stay on my phone way too much. I know I do. And I got to do better. But I wanted to make sure I shared this with everybody while the Lord was talking to me. Because it's not just me, it's, it's a lot of us. While we're doing all these other trends, we need to jump on the trend and do the work of the Lord. And right now, we might can't go to the nursing homes and visit, but I'm pretty sure we could get together and get some packages together. Find out what they need in the nursing home. And, and get that to them. I'm pretty sure they, um, you know, some of these residents, they might like to do word puzzles. Some of them like, may like to color. I, I don't think they want for a whole lot, but there is something that we should be doing, and not just the nursing home. There's people that live on the street. There, There is a, um, a group, not a group home, a um, homeless shelter. We should be, you know, contacting the homeless shelters and seeing what they need. Um, we form our little cliques and hang out and go and have fun. How about we form our cliques and get some things together to help these other people out that need help? These daycares, it takes a lot at a daycare to get the cleaning supplies, get the... Um, Forex wipes, 
let's contact the daycare. Let's see what they need. And then sometimes you don't even have to contact the daycare. There's plenty of daycares around that we could go to and just drop off some Lysol wipes, Clorox wipes. They always need these type of things. I've, I've worked in a daycare before, and these are things that they could use. Not only that, but they could use baby wipes. Sometimes, you know, the parents do bring things that they need, but sometimes they run out, and the parents haven't had a chance to get that replenished. If we help these daycares, just grab a box of wipes and take it to the daycare and say, hey, I just wanted to help out. These daycares would be so grateful for that because sometimes when the parents aren't able to do it, that the daycare has to come out of their pocket to get those things. And that's taken away from the bills they have to pay. It could be taken away from a field trip they may be wanting to take the kids on. Um, you know, I just wanted to share that information with y'all because I was like, oh, gosh, you're right. We got to do better because we, we, we plan all these trips. We take all these trips, but we don't plan to help those in need. We're not planning to see about these other people who may need some help. We don't talk to the daycares and say, hey, is there anything I can do for y'all? We don't call the nursing homes and say, hey, um... I know, Treva, the, the pandemic has really messed up a lot of things that some of us may have been doing already. But even though we can't visit the nursing home and see the people, we can drop some things off. We can contact them and um, see what they need and get it together and just drop that off. Now, I know at our church, we do Grace Network. Um, Grace Network lets my aunt know what's needed and she lets our church know and some of us get those things and we do that every month. So I'm just telling y'all what the Lord had told me last night and it was just like, wow, you're right, Lord, because I do be trying to do these trends on TikTok. TikTok is fun. Um, I originally got on TikTok because my kids wanted to be on TikTok. And anything my kids are going to be doing, I have to do so that I'm keeping up with them. So I know what they're listening to and I know what they're doing. Oh, that's good. That's good, Antoinette. We got to get more of us doing that. We got to get us a group of people doing that. Going um, and visiting and checking on folks and seeing what's, what's needed. But I do... You know, anything my kids are doing, I have to do. Because I want to make sure I'm keeping up with what they're doing. I want to make sure the songs they running around singing is not too grown for them. I want to make sure they ain't bleeping out cuss words. Or one time they were talking and what they were saying, it wasn't, they weren't cursing. So... You know, I didn't think nothing of it. However, I did find out later on from my husband that what they were saying was how a gang talks. And I think it was um, the bloods, how the bloods talk. And see, when I was raised, I wasn't in all of this stuff. I didn't know anything about the Crips and the bloods. I didn't know anything about that. So when he told me about it, I was like, oh, no, y'all can't say that no more. Say it the regular way, you know, because the kids are making up all types of little things these days. And so it seemed harmless. But then when my husband told me about it, hey, now, when my husband told me about it, I was like, uh-uh, y'all can't be saying that no more. And even um, some of the nursery rhymes, y'all, there's a lady on TikTok that um, breaks down the nursery rhymes. Y'all, she didn't ruin our childhood. The, the meaning behind over half of the nursery rhymes. Catch a tiger by the toe. Uh, kids can't sing that one no more. Because that's, that, that's the, the meaning of it. It has to do with um, black people being caught into slavery. 
so, you know, it would, Antoinette, and I mean, if you decide to get a group, I would definitely be in that group with you and do what I can and do my part, um, because like I said, I have to do better myself, making sure I'm doing my part of the missionary work and making sure that I'm helping out where help is needed. But y'all, I got to go into church. At the seminar building, we have our, this is our last night of Holy Elders Council. So y'all be looking out for the um, video I'm going to share where they're going live in here. So y'all can have church with us. All right, bye-bye.